Welcome to Tea Cooking with Lady Danya. I'm thrilled to be bringing you another presentation on how to easily and quickly cook with tea. This is a fun recipe because it's perfect for your holiday events. But you have to act quickly because we are using a limited time product that isn't going to be available much longer, so you need to act. Uh, we're going to be using for this recipe a Rishi tea product. Now Rishi has, is well known in the industry as being some of the best tea available. Fair trade, um, it is organic, and, and this is um, particularly a fabulous product because it is a special limited edition organic cinnamon plum. So it's not actually a tea, it is a tisane, it falls in that category, and it is beautiful. Not only does it have just a lovely scent, but it is just very elegant looking and the color is just beautiful. Um, it smells very fresh, it has fresh cinnamon bark, and of course it has a variety of um, caffeine free uh, hibiscus and plum. So we're going to be using this in our recipe today and you definitely want to go to Rishi.com and order some um, from Rishi Tea because once it's out um, you won't be able to make this recipe so you definitely want to get going. Now this is a great recipe for your holiday breakfast. It's also something that you can um, freeze and keep all through the year and keep it going throughout the seasons. So let's get started very easy recipe but it takes a little bit of time so over here you're going to see that I have been brewing it and we're taking about 12 teaspoons of the Rishi tea product which is the organic cinnamon plum again it is a tisane so you don't have to worry about a longer steeping time we're putting it in about a one and three-fourths cup of water and we're letting this steep about 30 minutes as you can see, the color is gorgeous. You're going to, this is really the theme of the recipe is this beautiful rich plum color. So as that steeps, we're going to um, be getting our other ingredients put together. Now, you're going to be needing for this some plum juice. Now plum juice is kind of hard to come by. And so another option that you can do is buy a can of whole plums, um, such as this always save that we just found in the supermarket. And you're going to open it up and drain off some of the syrup and the um, juice. You're going to need about a quarter cup of that. And we've got that right here for you. This quarter cup of juice is going to go into your uh, pot that you're going to be cooking with. So just pour that in. Again, it is just a gorgeous color. Now, you can use the actual plums that also come in the can. The actual plums, as you can see, um, are, are not something that maybe you would want to use directly in the mix, but you could put them into a strainer and press them down and drain some of that juice in as well if you want to have actual pieces of plum within this recipe. So that's an option. All you need is a ricer or a real tight strainer where you can do that. For this example, we're just going to move past that. Again, that's your option. And we're going to put into here three cups of sugar. So this three cups of sugar, I am using an organic sugar, um, but you could also use a raw cane sugar as well. And we're going to just slowly put this into the pot and we're going to add our tea right over that. Now, we want to use one and three-fourths cup of the tea. Now again, remember this has to have uh, steeped about 30 minutes. You want a long steep on this process so that you get that rich flavor. Now just continue to stir the sugar in and you're going to add more sugar until you have completely filled your pot. It's really important to continue to slowly Put that in. You don't want it to um, crystallize. You just want to, the warmness of the tea will help that melt. And then we're going to take it over, we're going to take it over to the stove and bring it to a boil. Take this over to the stove and bring it to a boil. And then we're going to boil it hard for two minutes. 
It's important to keep stirring because you sure don't want this to burn. Mmm, it smells so good, really. You can smell this fabulous plum uh, cinnamon smell that makes you think of the holidays. And again, this is a limited time product. And so the holidays is definitely the time you want to be using it because it is the time that it's available. So we're going to boil this hard for two minutes, continually stirring, and then we're going to remove it from the heat. So that's our timer. And we're going to just set it here, removing it from the heat. At this point, we want to add our liquid fruit pectin. Make sure that this is the liquid kind. That's the only kind that really works with this recipe. Carefully add in all of the pectin. And you want to keep stirring that. Make sure, again, that it is off the heat while you do this because you don't want that bubbling and that boiling to set in. And then once you've got all of the pectin out, you're going to bring this back to the hot stove for one minute. So bringing it back to the nice boil and boiling it for one minute is going to finish off your tea product. Now we talked a little bit about how you could use this through the year and the way you can do that is by making it a freezer jam. As a freezer jam, you're going to be able to put it in the freezer and pull it out as needed. It is fabulous on scones, uh, toast, and especially if you just heat that jam a little bit and pour it over fresh holiday waffles. I love that and your kids are going to love it too. So again, you're going to want to bring this to a boil for one minute only and then you're going to remove it from the heat and remove the foam. So you see that the foam is starting to rise. That's a sign that the pectin is taking effect. That's good. And that's our time. So we're going to pull it from the stove. We're going to let this cool just a tad and then begin to remove the foam. All of this extra foam needs to come off because it won't uh, work for creating a good seal in the freezer. Once you've removed it from the stove and tried to skin off, skim off most of the foam, you're going to need to work relatively quickly. Now, if you have jelly jars, you can certainly put it in that. But if you have something as simple as a Glad um, small container, you can use that as well. And you're just going to place the hot liquid into the jar. Be sure and allow some space because it is going to expand a little bit. You're going to let these cool for about 20 minutes and they'll start to firm up and you'll be able to see that. Then pop the lid on and pop them into your freezer. They're freezer jam. And when you need it, just pull it out. Obviously, you can use that for a jelly or a jam, which would be excellent on a fresh scone. But if you're making waffles for that special holiday morning, you can also use it as a simple syrup. As it comes out of the freezer, just let it warm up. You can actually warm it in the microwave if you like and drizzle it all over. I'm telling you, your kids are going to love this and it's healthier for them because it is made out of tea. It's best to serve it with a cup of tea. And of course the best would be the Orishi Organic Plum. So try the cinnamon plum and try it on waffles and then make sure that you have lots of containers because you're going to make some fabulous freezer jam and be able to serve it all year long and your friends are going to ask you how you did it.